family in shock tonight after learning their loved one was gunned down at her home. And the man accused of pulling the trigger, a family in shock tonight after learning their loved one was gunned down at her home. And the man accused of pulling the trigger, her husband. KDKA's Amy Wattis was the only reporter there as police brought the suspect into the Washington County Courthouse for his arraignment. Amy. 64-year-old Dennis Vaccaro is behind bars here at the Washington County Jail facing multiple charges tonight, including a criminal homicide. Now, when he was walking into the courthouse today for his arraignment, he told me he shot his wife in self-defense. Can you say why you shot her? She was coming at me as defense. Defense? Yeah. Dennis Vaccaro claims he shot his wife, 47-year-old Mecca Vaccaro, in self-defense at their home on Park Avenue in Monongahela around 8 this morning. A neighbor who lives across the street says she heard the gunshots. It sounded like a huge tin bomb hitting the ground, and it, it woke me up. A witness told investigators he saw Mecca hit Dennis several times, then pulled his hoodie over his head and spun him around. The couple went inside the house, and that's when the witness told police he heard them arguing, then heard two pops. When he came around the corner of the house, he told police he saw Dennis pointing a 9mm handgun toward the ground and Mecca laying on the ground nearby. Dennis admitted he shot his wife, then placed the gun in the truck afterwards. Police say Mecca was shot in the stomach. She was in the driveway when detectives showed up. Mecca was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Never knew him to be violent. He always worked and, and, and took care of his family the best way he could. He always provided. Mecca's older brother, Brian Cook, told KDKA Dennis was a quiet guy who helped raise his wife's son, who's now a teen. Cook says his nephew was on the way to school when the shooting happened. Well, he wasn't really his father, but he was like his father because he was in his life since he was a baby. So, yeah, just, uh, just devastated. You never judge a book by its cover. That's what my mom always told they knew Dennis as a quiet guy who was laid back and didn't really come off as aggressive at all. It's reporting live from the Washington County Jail, Amy Wattis, KDK News.